But I think mostly uh, for the future, for young people, it will give them uh, the history uh, and the continued history of Chicago and of the president himself and what, how he got to be where he was by coming to Chicago because he, he came to Chicago and he lived in High Park. He's got grassroots. He started with uh, uh, community work and he moved up through politics and became a state senator. Yeah. So they can walk over there and say, wow, we had a community activist become president and we got a library with his name on it, honoring him. Oh, that's, that's great. Well, it's, it's going to mean many different things. First of all, just the whole notoriety of having the president's library in the community, which will bring probably uh, many different visitors from around the world to uh, visit his library. Strategically, it's the best spot. We have Lakeshore Drive, which you can get off of. You have Stony Island, which turns into Lake Park, and you have the Metro train. Then you have the buses.